Well, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to a Therapeutic Edge. It is lovely to have you here today. I've got something on the table from the folks at Axial. Now, my experience with Axial was limited entirely to the Shift, which is a really nice OTF. Um, well made, S35VN, aluminum construction, nice action. Um, very recently, in fact, these guys got into a tussle with Microtech because Microtech didn't like the fact that they were producing knives that were this good. Uh, I mean, so anyway, there was a thing that happened. <laughs> Big company versus little company. Uh, you can feel any way you want about it. The end result is this. My uh, interest in Axial, which by the way are USA made, uh, grew because they make a really fine product. Now, I'm not really an OTF guy. Um, I've had a number of them. I'm more of a side fire automatic guy. But anyway, my point is this. They make really good knives. That was my experience. But my experience was just these. And then Lefty, Kevin, sent me a container of Axial stuff. And in that container was this. This is the Alpine. And there's a schmutz on the blade. The Alpine is a freaking-tastic little EDC-sized fixie. I mean, it's really good. comes in a nice Kydex sheet, right? This is wonderful. It's S35VN. It is exceptionally well done. It's got the axial lines back here at the uh, base of the spine, right where the uh, micarta scales kick in. Uh, it's got a lovely grip. It is three and a half fingers for me. It is very lean. But boy, is it a cutter. And it's really good looking, too. And they're $129, which is... Fantastic for an EDC size fixie. Now I've got some fixed blades that are similar in dimension. I thought I'd bring some of them out. Um, one of my go-tos if I'm going to EDC a fixed blade. Oh, there's a lot of crap on this blade. <laughs> uh, is my Simple Bear. It's Papa Bear Knives. This is a custom. Uh, this is CPM 154. As you can see, you get a little less blade. About the same length. Um, so this really is leaning into the size I like. Now, because you get a little more blade on the axle, you get a little less handle. For me, this is absolutely perfect, right? But I will tell you, the axial alpine here is leaner and a little faster, and it's got lovely belly on that S35VN blade. I'm going to go ahead and put that away for now. Here it is against the uh, Kermode from Tactical Everyday Dad. Uh, this one's in Magna Cut. Again, you know, there's definitely kind of a size that's getting a little bigger as we go, right? Um, but interestingly enough, the grip area on these two is very similar. This one's a little bigger, and because it's considerably chunkier, right? You know, my hand, I love this thing. This is, in fact, my go-to EDC fix blade, full-time. I, I carry the PBK knife a lot, but this is the one. Uh, it's got a really nice clip on it, on the Kydex sheath. If I'm going out and want a fixed blade, this is what I carry. But, if I'd have had this first, I'm not, I mean, I still would have owned these, but I'm not sure that this wouldn't have been my full time because it is so light and so lean and such a good little slicer. I've got one more that is in S35VN. It was my EDC fixed blade for a while, but now I just sort of keep it. This, of course, is my Chris Reeves Nyala, which you can see is a considerably larger knife. Uh, the Nyala was my EDC fixed blade before I got into smaller stuff. Um, and of course, this was a gift from Wind Carry Knives on the day of our wedding. So this, as much as this could take anything I want to throw at it, uh, they have similar micarta. Uh, this can absolutely take anything I want to throw at it. It has, well, it's special. So it doesn't get the use that it otherwise might, but uh, I will have this knife forever. So anyway. Uh, speaking of size comparisons, let's do it against some folders. I know that doesn't generally make sense, but, you know, folders are what most of us carry, so that might help. Here it, against the, here it is against the Hogue Deca. You can see the deck is just a little bigger. And how about a full-size Griptilian? All right, you can see the grip is much bigger. Right? So that's really one of the interesting things. The trade-off, of course, with carrying a fixed blade as opposed to a folder is you have none of the weaknesses, right? You don't have the issues of the pivot. You don't have to maintenance it as much. 
but you can really carry a lot more knife more subtly with a folder than you can with a fixed blade. So, And also, please be aware of your local state and county and city regulations and rules. There are some very interesting variations in fixed blade versus folders. For instance, I could carry this and this and this and this at my job as a teacher. There is no, uh, it's at college, but there is no issue with carrying folding knives as it, it, on campus, but this is totally against the rules. It doesn't matter that it's tiny. They have a no fixed blade policy. So pay attention because the rules can be different. Even if you're cool to carry, you know, a four max, uh, you may not be able to carry a little tiny fixed blade. So just be aware. So let's get some other specs out of the way while we're looking at it. I love this thing. All right. The Axial Alpine is, as I said, S35VN. You get a little over three and a quarter inches of cutting on three and a half inches of blade. The grip area from behind that swell is three and uh, mm, four eighths, uh, three and three eighths. It's right here. So it's just shy of three and a half inches. It comes to three and a half inches total, but you do roll off that tail a little bit. Overall, Nice. Coming in at seven inches, which is a healthy and respectable knife. They've done some marvelous cutting. I love the uh, fuller through here. It's got a nice high flat, got a nice high grind. It's not high all the way, but it is high enough. It comes down to a nice edge. For your $129, they give you uh, 119 thousandths of an inch of steel, which is coming in at just over three millimeters. It's 10 millimeters on the handle, which is, yeah, 0.4 of an inch, so under half an inch. At its tallest back here, it's not quite an inch. Right? For my hand, now that I'm I'm being honest. I would have carried this for a while. I still will probably carry this a lot while it's with me. But it is a little lean. Now, Women Carry Knives really likes this handle size. So if you've got smaller mitts than I do, this thing would be absolutely stellar. And it's great materials. And because the micarta is bolted on like this, got a nice little lanyard spot back here if you're into that sort of thing. Because these are just screwed on, you could replace these with just about anything. And because it's flat slab, right? I mean, in here, you could cut, mill, make, and do anything you wanted. So if you're good with G10 or almost any other material, you could replace the scales on this in next to no time. That is very cool. Let's go ahead and weigh it out, just because I'm curious. Uh, just a heads up, as far as I know, uh, the, the uh, nice little sheath does not come with a belt clip, so you're going to want to add one of those as you go. We're going to weigh it in two ways. We're going to weigh it without the uh, sheath and with. So the Alpine comes in at 2.7 ounces, which puts it, puts it which, yeah, it puts it in DECA range, so this way it weighs a little bit more than the DECA, which isn't confusing as it's Full tank construction, right, all the way through. It's one piece of S35VN that is ground into a knife shape, and then they attach scales. So it is a bigger piece of metal than you get on a folder for sure. And, of course, that's the, that's the thing, right? Without the pivot in the middle, that is a much more durable implement than a folding knife, for the most part. Now, 2.7. So if we add the... So with a clip, let's add another ounce. We're probably talking about 4.5 ounces, about... Uh, so that's four and a half ounces on your belt if you are going hiking or backpacking or walking or whatever it is that you do when you carry a fixie. By way of example, the Kermode here is a, a seven and a half ounces, right? So this is a really, really lightweight knife. In fact, if I was still backpacking regularly, which I am not, uh, I would bring this and the new Benchmade tagged out. 
because when you're backpacking, weight is everything, right? So the tagged out, which is 2.2 ounces, 2.1 ounces. So your total knife kit for backpacking, five, so six, call it six and a half ounces maybe for your full knife setup for a backpacking trip. This is a really good combo. If you're going light, if you're going heavier, of course, you carry a bigger fixed blade, right? Or something that you could maybe even split some wood with. But for just pack light, this is a fantastic combination. And I guess that's where we're going to leave it. The folks at Accio, Accio, Axial surprised me. They really did. This is a wonderful knife. Um, and at 129 bucks, you really can't go wrong. If you're looking for a lightweight, I'm not going to say concealable because that would be inappropriate, but, you know, concealable uh, fixed blade that would work wonderfully for EDC, the Axial Alpine might be the knife you're looking for. Hey, that's up to you. I know that I think it's really good, and I've got a fair amount of experience with fixies. So, anyway... Hope you've enjoyed this look at it. Uh, I will post a link in the description where you can find it on their website. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, again, hit that subscribe button on your way out, and uh, we'll see you next time.